Sometimes you just have to let things sit. Just leave them for a bit, you know. But, uh, after a while they'll tell you what they want to do. What other elements they want to live with. It's often better not to force it, I find. I never really go into it with anything particular in mind. They just kind of pop out as they are, really. I don't really sketch things out. The objects tend to tell me what they want to do. I like it to hearing voices, really. It's, it's a little bit like talking to spirits. You have to kind of clear your mind and get into the zone. And it's almost like a dreamlike state, I think, when the, when the work's coming together. That's when it gets interesting. Things tend to start to happen and you don't really think about it sense it's always a surprise how they turn out if it's ever not a surprise I kind of tend to pull it to bits and start again really I hate seeing my hand in things they should be like puzzles that you could never solve I think I tend to be drawn to objects that have lived a life and show it I mean they're often discarded or distressed or have seen better days but still have a, a beauty about them, a vibration, for want of a, a better word. And the more bashed up and busted they are, the more glory there is in bringing them back to life. My environment plays a part in how it develops. I, I need to feel something in the place I live and work to have a connection. I used to live in London in a converted church and the work had a more boxed-in Victorian vibe than it does living here in Pennsylvania. Here it's, it's broken out of the format to a large extent. It's more sculptural, it has more natural elements. It's funny how themes start to emerge in the work. Often one piece will inform the next. Yeah, there's spirits or ghosts in this this house. Uh, I've not seen them, but uh, I believe the previous tenants have. And this, the objects I tend to come across or favour certainly have that vibe to them. That they they still have that life they used to live about them. They've got soul passed through many hands. Some of the their spirits, that presence, is still around them. Think, and it, it simply informs the work, it gives it a bit more gravitas as a result. It sounds a little bit spooky, but I don't think it is. I mean, if you, if you didn't call it art, then you'd probably, you know, have me locked up, so let's call it art, I think it's safer that way. <laughs>